It has now been 10 years since legendary Applington Parkersburg high school football coach Ed Thomas was shot and killed by a former student. Thomas was killed inside the weight room at Applington Parkersburg. KCCI's Tommy Clark talks with the mother of the man who murdered him about the problems her son had with his mental health. One decade ago, an EF5 tornado destroyed half the town of Parkersburg. A town hero and football legend led the way to recovery. His name is known in Iowa, Coach Ed Thomas. The kids in this school and the people in this community, uh, to me, there aren't any any better. Everything we stand for stays the same. The way we play the game stays the same. Our people in our community are excited because for two hours tonight, fella, something's going to be normal again. All right, you know what you're going to do? Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, at the high school where? One year later, the town of less than 2,000 took on another tragedy. This time, without their fearless leader. Kids had come running out and said somebody shot Ed Thomas. It, okay. And they're still in the building. Just before 8 this morning, police say Coach Ed Thomas was inside weightlifting with students when a former player, number 68 Mark Becker, walked in and shot the coach several times with a handgun. I know that my father's legacy, not only through those people, but through my brother, myself, my three boys, will live on. Watching how much pride he took in our school and for me to be the principal here now, you know, I feel extremely fortunate. It's almost like I get a part of, you know, my dad coming here every day and trying to continue what mattered to him. June 24th, 2009. Uh, the day itself uh, is, is almost a blur to me because it was such a shocking uh, event in our lives. These are the good days when they were young. That's really hard to look at. Why is it hard? Because they were such happy days, and um, I know we can't live in our past, but there's so much hope. We were trying to get help and get a diagnosis, and it all blew up on that day. My emotions immediately were, this can't be happening. I just kept thinking, it was like a movie going in my head, all the doors that had been closed on us of trying to get help for Mark, and no one would listen that we knew it was dangerous. We couldn't get anyone to take it serious. It was too late. It was too late. Joan Becker says her son hit a breaking point the day he shot and killed Ed Thomas. He was later diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. We know now that Mark, as, as far back as he remembers existing, has heard the voices. How did we all miss that? She says law enforcement was there through the psychotic episodes. The people who most understood what Dave and I and were going through with our son Mark are our deputy sheriffs. All law enforcement is are thrown into situations that they're not equipped for, they're not educated on, they don't have the tools, and why is it that they're the ones that have to deal with this? They need to understand this was the family's last resort crying out for help. I'll tell you, it was probably about seven years in that Mark finally was stabilized enough to recognize he has an illness. Now from behind bars, Joan Becker says that her son has found himself. I just forgot how to love. And I miss my teacher and coach, and I love him like a father like I love you. So it's important for me to share that because this is who Mark Becker is. It's not that man who was in a psychotic episode that day and took the life of another. This is who our son is.